Happy Juneteenth! It is Emancipation Day. It is Jubilee Day. It is Freedom Day. It has so many names. Welcome to Hashtag Violet Chat. I'm Sahara with the St. Louis Public Library, and in this chat, we typically talk about fiction and nonfiction young adult novels. We talk about juvenile titles for tweens. We talk about graphic novels. We talk about mangas. Head over to see our playlist, Hashtag Violet Chat, so you can see all of the previous titles we've talked about so far. Now, today I'm excited because we're doing it in celebration of Juneteenth, which is all of the things, but a little bit of history for you. In 1865, on June 19th, General Gordon Granger landed in Texas with the news of freedom. Now, the Emancipation Proclamation was actually passed by President Lincoln It was officially happening on January 1st in 1863, but, you know, General Kerry that news in 1865, and so everybody celebrates June 19th for Juneteenth. Emancipation Day! All right, so we're going to be talking about titles that feature those topics in that time period. So let's get into it. So for today's title, we are talking about young adult fiction novels, and the first one is Dread Nation. The second one is Deathless Divide. It's a double feature. I'm so excited because these books are really great. It's by Justina Ireland, and it was published by Balzer and Bray. Now, these books are available on Hoopla and Overdrive in ebook format. It's also available on Overdrive in audiobook format, which audiobook, y'all know, is my favorite way to listen to a book because you can do something else while listening, right? Now, I really enjoy these books. Um, They are something a little bit different. They are period pieces, and it's a mix of period piece and zombies and all of this amazingness. Um, So I definitely think you should check them out. It features a hashtag own voices story, and this is where the dead begin to walk during the Gettysburg war and everything else in between that. And so you have your main character who is really trying to navigate this while she's trying to finish her education and get everything together and be this star. But it's hard. It's hard during this time when the dead walk the earth. So if you like zombie books, this is the book for you. I totally recommend it. And it has a second one. So you already know that you have something else to look forward to because the saga continues on. So definitely check out these books. You all know what time it is. It's time for shelve it or read it. Would I shove the book away or would I read it myself? So up first, we have Fly Girl, which was written by Sherry Smith. And this one is about a light-skinned African-American girl who passes for white in order to join the Women's Air Force Service Pilots. And this is during World War II. It is a period piece and I've already read it. So I highly recommend it. It's really cool to kind of peek into the world of passing and what that means for the girls who come after this young lady. And the next one is Inventing Victoria, and this is by Tanya Bolden. Now, this one is really unique because it's about a young Black woman in the 1880s in Savannah, Georgia, whose name is Essie, and Essie comes from humble beginnings. And then all of a sudden, she meets this richest, most cultured Black woman she's ever seen who gives her the opportunity to go from Essie to Victoria. And so she gets fine clothes and she gets etiquette classes and she kind of becomes this different person and she has to come to terms with her identity. And I would read it. If you can't tell, I like period pieces. The last book we have for today is Dream Country and this is by Shannon Gibney. Now this one is 
at the start of a suburb in Minneapolis, and it follows 17-year-old Kali who begins to crack under the strain of being a Liberian refugee, and he's exhausted. He's too black and then not black enough for his African-American friends, and he's worn down by the expectations of his own Liberian family. And so he's having to deal with all of these things, and I think it's a really good look um, because it jumps back to 1827 to some other children who have to leave the plantation and all of this other struggle. So I think it's a good flashback novel and I would definitely read it. It's been a read it list. Peace. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you enjoyed today's selections, give this video a thumbs up. Also, head over to slpl.org so you can join our summer reading challenge. Yes, it is an exciting time where you can take all of the books that you've heard today and you can also take all the previous books we've talked about and you can add them to your summer reading challenge list, right? Because you're going to read them and you're going to write them down and then we're going to keep track of them on our nice little pamphlet and then we're going to turn it in so we can get prizes because I like prizes, so I know you like prizes. We all like prizes. So make sure you add these books to your reading list. And if you don't like to read, I understand. There are activities you can do. So you can do a list of recommended activities right here on your pamphlet, or you can head over to slpl.org to check out Summer Reading Challenge so you know exactly what it entails, okay? All right, <laughs> we gonna make this together. I look forward to seeing you guys next Friday at noon so you can hear about your latest new favorite. And I would like to thank today's author, Justina Ireland and Balzer and Bray for an amazing collection, a series that you can add to your reading list. See you next time. Peace.